Peeps, welcome back. It is day three of our Florida adventure, and I am very excited about where I am heading today. I'm road, riding solo today, like Jason Derulo, um, but I am at a place that I have been wanting to check out ever since I read about it a couple of months ago, and I am really glad that I can bring you guys along with me. And here's where we're heading today, the Cloak and Blaster. It's a gaming pub for geeks. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I'm into tabletop gaming. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went out with my IOM geek cohorts to uh, Missouri, and we played tabletop gamings and recorded actual plays for you guys that will be released on IOMgeek.com. So, Cloak and Blaster is not just a video game place, it is also a tabletop gaming pub. Um, so it looks like there is a brewery launch party today and look at the door You know, you're heading into a cool place when you see that on the door um, Hours of operation. I don't know if you can see them 6 p.m. To midnight uh, Tuesday and Wednesday 6 p.m. To 2 a.m. Thursday and Friday and they're open earlier hours on the weekend So let's head on in I took a seat at the bar and look there's a lightsaber as one of the tap handles um Bunch of beers on tap. Looks like four, well it says 14, oh no wait, uh, 27 drafts. Beers on draft. Here is the brewery they're featuring tonight, Inoculum Ale Works, and the beers they have. This last one sounds kind of interesting. Now these are all sour ales. I'm not a big sour ale guy, but an absinthe inspired sour ale? I may have to try that. And if you're not interested in anything they have on draft, look, they have two fridges full of beer. In fact, that second shelf looks like it has the butter beer um, flavored beer. So tons of stuff to drink. And uh, here's the menu. I love it because it's themed like a player's handbook, like D&D. &D. And so is the beer menu, Ales and Elixirs Guide, second edition. I love the theming of this place. Here's a look at some of the menu options. This is the appetizers. You have poutini, that's kind of cool. Sauron's Tower of Onion Rings. Um, looks like this is uh, stews, so, uh, soups and salads. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, they have a burger called the Lannister, the Smaug, Gollum's Fish and Chips, the U.S. Cheddar Prize, USS Cheddar Prize. I love the theming. And uh, here's some drinks and non-alcoholic drinks. So to start with, I actually got this beer, which is the Tomoka Elvis Peanut Butter and Banana Sandwich Beer. It's made in Port Orange, Florida. There it is. It's a brown ale, 5.8% uh, ABV. Let's test it out. All right, let's give this a shot. It smells like peanut, peanut butter. Hmm. I like that a lot, actually. Um, I get a lot of peanut butter. I don't get a lot of banana, but it's actually pretty tasty. I'm kind of going into overload with what's going on. There are like all these toys and statues and things all over the bar. Swords. There's an axe over there. Um, they're playing Star Trek The Next Generation up there. There's some type of Nintendo thing going on on the monitor. Beer posters and the Hobbit stuff all over. I think I found a place that would be really cool to drink with some friends. And here's the inside of Cloak and Blaster. It's kind of themed all over the place, medieval type stuff. We've got the dragon head up there. Castle windows. Over there in the corner, which we'll look at in a second, there are all these board games and you can see kind of people sitting around tables playing them right now. That's the point of this place. You can get a table and bring your friends and play tabletop games. Obviously big fans of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit here. And if you can't tell just from all these posters, Look at this giant mural. That thing is crazy cool from The Hobbit. You got a TARDIS and Chewbacca over there. Some pirate posters, Heavy Seas Brewery, that's near me, up in Maryland. You've got like the castle wall above the entrance. Over there, there are some Game of Throners, Game of Thrones uh, banners. And uh, if you didn't bring your own game, holy cow, 
shelves upon shelves of games. You can see Risk, Walking Dead Risk, um, some type of Star Trek games down there. Looks like some of your more uh, card games up here. Batman, Arkham City Escape, I've never even heard of that one. Uh, very important gamer library coming soon. So it looks like you can kind of be a very important gamer, a VIG. So you can rent any of these games out to play with your friends. Monopoly, Battleship, these are some more of the family friendly games, I guess, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, stuff like that. There's a sorting hat up there. There's a, a Marauders map. So you kind of got your Harry Potter, you got your Lord of the Rings, you got all sorts of cool stuff. And upstairs is the Citadel Lounge. Only parties of 10 or fewer may board. So this is their video game lounge upstairs. I'm gonna take a quick look. So here's the video game lounge. You've got like, I guess that's Coruscant or maybe something for Mass Effect. You've got C-3PO over there in the corner. All right, so they have Xbox Ones up here for gaming. And over here they've got, what do you have over here? We use. We use. Um, so you can rent them out, come upstairs with your friends, full service up here, play some video games. Very cool lounge up here. And it's definitely kind of a different vibe than the bar downstairs that's more fantasy based. This is obviously more like science fiction fantasy based. Like Funko Pops, there are a bunch of them in this cabinet. Oh, Harry Potter Funkos right there. Some Force Awakens stuff down there. I see Groot down there. Guys, look at the description of the Highlander. It's on a pretzel bun, fries between two half pound beef patties, doused in vanquished cheese, plus a side. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna go with the cheddar fries though. I don't think I'm Highlander hungry. I think I'm cheddar fries hungry. Yeah, <laughs> fact. Just so you guys know, my favorite beer of all time is in that blue can right there, Delirium Tremens. The best thing ever. Okay, here's the information on the very important gamers thing. $15 a month, you get a very important gamer library exclusive uh, games, uh, the ability to reserve tables without a deposit, exclusive prize packs, and a VIG membership card. And here's the deal with the video games that I just showed you. Uh, $5 per person for 30 minutes, um, and they ask, limit the parties to 10 or fewer. Okay, here's the deal about being a gaming pub. It's $5 per person, or you can buy the equivalent food and drinks to play the games. So that's actually not a bad deal at all. You're basically reserving a spot for $5 or the equivalent in food and drinks. That's easy enough. And here's the USS Cheddar Prize. Hand-cut French fries, grilled cheese, um, looks like it's on a hamburger bun um, with bacon and marinara sauce to dip it in. That looks yummy. Ooh, thank you for visiting the Cloak and Blaster. I gained 300 XP. All right, folks, I am leaving Cloak and Blaster. I really liked that place. Um, my uh, grilled cheese sandwich was really good. Fries were good. Great, great beer selection. So if you have a gaming group and you're looking for a place to come game, get a couple beers, get some food, I really recommend checking this place out. And even if you're not, a gamer and you just like geeky things you love lord of the rings you love hobbit you love um harry potter come check this place out it is definitely worth going to um i'll put uh go down to the show notes and i'll put a link to the place um so you can check out more information about them cloak and Back blaster in orlando florida thank you guys for watching and uh we'll see what we get into tomorrow catch you guys later